Hey there, it's Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Hey, I wanted to show you a kind of a tip to show you in QuickBooks how to easily track your bills. Okay, so if you follow the processes that we teach at the QuickBooks University, you're going to enter your bills. Uh, you may be using purchase orders and then you're going to pay your bills uh, through QuickBooks. That's the proper way to use it. And we definitely advocate that. So there's a little known feature in QuickBooks that uh, a lot of people don't know about that, but can save you a bunch of time and be pretty handy. OK, it's called the bill tracker. All right. So in a typical situation, you're going to enter a bill uh, and then you're going to go pay your bill in QuickBooks. And you've got these options here. You can enter a bill. You can pay a bill. But if you look in the drop down menu up here under vendors, you're going to see an option called bill tracker. OK, so if you click on this, you're going to see they have something set up where it's listing out all these different transactions. OK, and you've got this uh, handy little, I don't know what you call it, color coded chart up here that shows, OK, here's 11 purchase orders haven't been billed. Here's 27 open bills that haven't been paid. None are overdue and none have been paid in the last 30 days. OK, so if you click on purchase orders, you're going to see, OK, here are all the purchase orders that are out there. OK, so instead of going and pulling up a report and, you know, looking at your purchase orders and pulling the, those up, you can quickly and easily get to them right here. And here's what you can do. You know, if you check off, let's say this one right here and it's time to convert this to a bill. You'll see there's some options over here. This one says convert to a bill. And if you click the drop down menu, you can easily print, close, email or copy the PO. OK, this makes the steps much easier to, uh, you know, for example, close the PO or whatever. So if you click on it, so let's just say that uh, we have it here. It says convert to bill. You can just click right there and it will automatically pull this up and convert it to a bill. OK, and then you can save and close, save and new, whatever you want to do. All right. So that is pretty straightforward. So let me close this out. OK, so now let's say that you have 27 open bills. OK, you can scroll down this bill list pretty easily. You can sort, you know, by due date. So if I click this, it's going to reverse the order. OK, so we've got it in this order. We see what bills are due and you can click on that. Look at this drop down menu. And again, you can pay, copy or print. All right. So let's pay the bill and it takes us straight to the bills outstanding for this particular vendor, Thomas Kitchen and Bath. And it checks off the one we said we wanted to pay and then you can pay it. All right. So this is a quick and easy way to get to see everything that you have out there. So uh, it, it's really handy to be able to see, OK, here are the bills I have. Here's what's coming up and here are the purchase orders that I'm going to be getting bills for. All right. So quick tip from the QuickBooks University. Again, my name is Matt Holtquist. Uh, I hope this video helped. Uh, if you want to learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks and really skyrocket your profits and start to understand your business and stop using QuickBooks as just a glorified checkbook, head on over to the QuickBooks University, qbuniversity.org. We'll show you everything you need to know about QuickBooks. We'll see you over there.